Hi, I'm Channa Gunawardhana from strategypass.com. Uh, today we are trying to introduce you, today we are trying to welcome you to our course P3 Performance Strategy. So let me briefly explain P3, what is in it, and secondly, let me explain to you how the course works. So I want to explain to you P3, the subject, and how it works. Now before I go into the subject, uh, you got to know about our company a little bit. It's strategypass.com. It's a very small organization and we would like to remain small in the future. The reason is we would like to give you a personalized service, individual tuition, personalized service for your specific requirements. We don't want to get a large number of students and give a general course. No, we don't. So, if you look at us, strategypass.com, you will see me on the forum and you will see administration side, you will see Vatsala on the forum. She will manage entire finance and administration aspects of it. Then you will see Chara on the forum. Other than that, academic side, you will see many different lecturers who are helping you with. I'm not going to introduce them one by one. Details will be there on the forum. So that's our company. Looking at P3, the subject. We have six modules in P3. We have six modules in P3. We start with ERM, Enterprise Risk Management, where we look at the definition of risk, classification of risk, theoretical background of how the risk can be managed, Enterprise Risk Management. Then we have Internal Controls and Auditing, one of the ways to reduce risk is to introduce internal controls. Of course, no point of having internal controls unless there's someone who follows up them to ensure the internal controls are actually implemented throughout the organization. So that's why we have auditing coming in. So second module is internal controls and auditing. Then corporate governors, the best practices of running a company. Next is information technology related controls. In the recent past, if you look at the risk faced by the organizations, the types of risk faced have changed completely. Many years ago, we would have been talking about the risk of flood, risk of theft, but today we have completely a different set of risk. Maybe they are more serious. One of them is information technology. So in this topic of IT controls, we'll first of all introduce you to information technology. Then we will look at the controls in an IT environment. There are two types. One is general controls in IT environment. Second one, what would be the controls if you are developing a new system? If you are developing new ERP, what would be the controls that needs to be there? So that's about the IT control. The next module, the fifth one, First is enterprise risk management, secondly internal controls and auditing, corporate governors, IT controls, the fifth is FRM, financial risk management, where we talked about two main specific risks, risk of interest rate, risk of exchange rate. What would be the impact to your organization when the interest rate and exchange rate goes up and comes down? How can you manage that? So that's 35% of the syllabus, which is the fifth module. The sixth one is MCS, Management Control Systems, where we talked about lean accounting, TQM, balance scorecard. That's basically for 10% of the study weightage. So if you look at the subject of P3, there are six main modules that we need to do. Other than that, of course, the pre scene will come in. The unseen will come in. Exam paper consists of section A and section B. Section A is for 50 marks, B is for 50 marks. Section A is one compulsory question based on the pre -seed. Section B, there are three questions, 25 marks each, you got to select two. So that's how the paper consists of. That's what P3 is all about. Now, what do we do with you? How our course is structured? Well, you get an access to an online forum and whenever you log in, you will see a section allocated for each 
module. So six sections will be there for the six modules that we discuss. In each module, there will be a PowerPoint presentation. Please go through it. Then there will be an audio for each module. Listen to that along with the PowerPoint presentation and try to synchronize the details given in the PowerPoint presentation along with the audio. Thirdly, you come to us with your questions. You can use the forum to ask your questions. If uh, slide number 25 is not clear, please say slide number 25 is not clear. We'll explain it for you. So basically, in our course, you will have a PowerPoint presentation, audio explaining the same PowerPoint presentation, then we'll go into certain past paper questions. We'll look at selected questions and we'll give you the answer and audio for that particular question. So there'll be two sets of past paper questions. First, we discuss. We, we give you the question, we give you the answer, we give you the audio, we discuss. Second, we send you the question, you write the answer, email back to us, then we'll mark and send you the marks, then we'll give you an audio on that question as well to see whether you have understood that particular area. So six modules, each module will end with the question, a test to see whether you have understood it. Then only we will take you to the next module. So that's how the course would work as expected towards end when the pre scene is issued. Then we will take you through the pre scene industry. There will be a document called KYP, know your pre scene. Industry analysis is done by us. We'll give it to you. Then we'll give you two mock papers based on the pre scene as well. So this is how things would work. So this, po this video is basically to welcome you to strategypass.com. On behalf of everyone at strategypass.com, let me warmly welcome you to our course. It's an individual course, so be online. Please ask whatever the question that you need to ask, we are here to help you with. So welcome to strategypass.com. Let's start the course now. Thank you very much. All the very best.